Hey guys, what's good? What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it is your girl Kiana. And I haven't even talked in a minute. We haven't talked in a minute. And I just wanted to just sit and be real this video. I'm going to do like a mukbang type of situation. I got a drink. I got some food that I already started eating. <laughs> I'm drinking a matcha latte with oat milk. Um, one pump of chai, two pumps of vanilla, and a caramel drizzle. This is so good. This is the first time I tried this. And then I'm eating a cheese danish. So I get like Starbucks once a week and cheese danishes are my thing. Mmm. It's just so good. Okay. <laughs> but let's talk. Let me chew first. Let's talk. I hope food doesn't get in my braces because that would be embarrassing. But nonetheless, um, I just want to talk about how lately i just been feeling like alone. And it's crazy because like Throughout my life, I've kind of been like a loner person. I don't know if anyone could relate. Um, I was to myself and I had friends. Um, I would have like one or two like really close knit friends and either like they would move or we would outgrow each other or whatever the case is. And um, you know, the friends I have now, I've known them for, I think everybody eight plus years. So, you know, my friends currently, you know, they've been my friends from childhood and I just found like people that I really relate to and people that I connect with. But when you get older, people start having kids, people get in relationships, people start having careers. Um, again, people move. So like, I think, you know, I, my friends are my friends and we just don't have as much time together and just so happens to be in my life. I ain't got no man, I ain't got no kids. You know, I've moved from my hometown, but it's like, I wanna move again. <laughs> and you know, I'm pursuing my own things, but it's just like, yeah, my life has not changed drastically. I would say my move, I didn't move far from home. Like, I moved some hours away, but it's not super far. So, it's like I can still see family, visit family, etc. But, um, yeah, it's like my life has just been pretty much consistent. You know, I have a good job. I haven't stepped into the career that I want to step into yet. But, you know, I'm pursuing that, so that does take up a good amount of my time. And then, like, family, like I said, I moved a couple hours or a few hours away from my home. And I'm currently staying with my mom because I want to figure out where I want to move. Plus, <laughs> these braces, I want to pay them completely off, which I pay them off, which we're happy. But I want to pay off my credit card and just make sure I'm in the best position for moving because I am planning to buy like all new furniture and stuff. Um, so, you know, it's in, it's in the process, it's in motion, but like everybody else I'm separated from and some of my friends I'm even separated from. And one of my friends, honestly, I haven't, you know, lived near. I know you're probably like counting your rambling, I'm sorry. But if you're not here to talk and sit, it's not the video for you, like, I want us to feel like we friends, we talking, you getting to know me or whatever the case is. Like I want it to feel as genuine as possible because I feel like some people may be going through like what I'm going through, but I have to kind of give you the background so y'all can understand more, you feel me? But yeah, so being that I've always been alone for the most part, it's like I've been comfortable in being alone. You know, I've had one serious relationship in my life and that's about it. <laughs> so I've been single, you know, most of my life. And so it's like, I've been used to that. And the other day, 
you know, I was just thinking about this and I'm like, you know, I know God separates us for reasons. I know he separates us sometimes for seasons. Um, and I know that, you know, this most recent season of my life has been for a reason in a season. <laughs> I guess it's been for both, honestly. But, you know, I know that I've been focusing on God, getting my relationship right with him, getting rooted in God. I know that I've been being built up and prepared for the things he's called me to. And I feel like that's a never ending journey. Like you're, I'm going to step into different phases of life. He's going to call me to different things in different seasons of life. But like right now, I know where he's positioning me essentially and so like I understand like the point of me being alone and it doesn't bother me honestly like I'm okay with it but the thing that I think that I found that started to bother me and maybe some of you guys can relate is that you know all I have sometimes what I feel like all I have is God and there's nothing wrong with that by the way but I was praying to God and I'm like, you know, it would be nice if I had people that I could call and people that I could FaceTime or people I could just be around in times of needing a friend, needing an ear um, and things like that. And I feel like I haven't had that in a while. And this is not nothing against my friends, but this is more of an internal thing because like I feel like I don't know if anybody's been told this but I freaking hate this comment I know that people don't mean it with any harm but honestly it's like <laughs> not a compliment as much as people think it is but people will be like Kiana you're so strong <clears throat> and I feel like for the longest all I had to be was strong like I had to be strong I had to grow up quickly I had to you know depend on myself quickly and even in seasons and play in times where I wasn't ready you know what I'm saying like I've had to be that and you know now that I've been able to lean on the God and give like my burdens to him I've been able to have him as my comforter <clears throat> and to help me through certain situations it's like that's taken like a lot of the weight off um but then it's like now I have this issue where I don't know how to go to people when I need help and sometimes people just don't know how to be there for you in the ways that you need them to you feel me that's also another thing and it's not because that they're not good people I think it's more so because sometimes people don't understand like sometimes they haven't been through what you're going through sometimes they don't know like how to navigate what you're going through and that's nothing wrong with that like we my friends are my friends because they are my therapists you feel me like and that's not what I'm looking for either but you know what I'm saying like they're not there for that reason like I love my friends and they serve such a you know strong purpose in my life so I feel like you know I feel like I've been praying to God like I just need people that get me I need people that I can connect with that I can turn to they could be elder people um they be people my age it doesn't matter like age doesn't determine maturity and or experiences either um, but it's just like, I just need people that I can come to or go to because, you know, my parents are great, but I can't necessarily go to them for everything. And then I've seen in general with people, um, when you go to them for certain things, they just, like I said, they just don't get it. And I just end up feeling like nothing was resolved. And I'm so thankful and appreciative that I could be that for people. But it's like, I need, I need people in my life. And it's just, yeah, I'm here basically saying that I am, <laughs> I don't want to say lonely because that's like the wrong word, but I'm alone, but I'm not alone. 
I feel alone sometimes. And I'm saying this to say that I think I'm coming to this realization that I have, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, I don't wanna get emotional. Y'all probably like, what? what is the point of this? But I'm gonna like bring it all together. I'm coming to a point where I'm realizing that I've been so independent that it's hard for me to depend on people. So again, now I've like put the lens back on me. Like why, why do I feel like sometimes I'm alone in different scopes and areas of my life? It's like, it's me. I have a, a dependency issue. I feel like in the past I couldn't depend on people or they couldn't show up the way I needed them to that I felt like I had to be everything. Um, yeah. I felt like I had to be the one. It's like I, I do everything, y'all. It's so draining too. And I just I'm tired of it. And I'm trying to I wanna say this because I don't want people to feel like they have to feel like they have to depend on themselves. Like it's okay to be real and honest with yourself and then, you know, pray that God sends you community and people and friendships because we need those things. God said it's not good for man to be alone and it's it's not like we need a helper whether that's friendships whether that's um mentorship whether that's community we need people and i'm realizing that now it's like i'm gonna give you an example i do my filming i do my editing um i take my pictures a lot of the times like majority of the times i'm my own stylist which is fine because i love fashion I'd rather be. <laughs> um, you know, I'm paying all my bills, but again, I'm a single woman. That's how it should be. But I'm just putting it into perspective. Um, you know, I do a lot of things on my own. I'm making my own decisions. It's like me and God, right? We're partnership. We're partnered on this. It's partnership. Um, so I do consult and seek God for pretty much everything um, because I want to be in his will. But it's like, I'm doing everything. I'm, <laughs> this truck just pulled up in front of me. <laughs> He's like, hold up. I'm doing everything. Like, I am doing everything. I feel like it's up to me to go to God to figure out how to get through things. It's just like, me, 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 me. I'm sure there's people praying for me too. Thank y'all. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to my family. But it's me, 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 and me. And I'm like, dang, I'm tired. I want to give somebody the weight. And, like, there's just some weight that God can handle everything and he can carry everything. But, like, idealistically, I would have a person or two or three or just, you know, people in my life that can help me. Like, it would be nice to have someone that would help me with content. And I mean, like, more so the picture aspect of it. It would be nice... For someone that I could say, hey, let's hang out. I need a friend. It would be nice if I could vent to somebody and they have answers or they just could be a great listener and just listen. You know what I'm saying? It would just be nice. And we're not meant to carry the burdens of life alone. And yeah, I realize that being forced into situations in my life and especially at a young age, it's like I didn't... I've closed myself off. I, I put up walls around myself to protect myself. And it's great to have boundaries, but you have to realize when you have too many walls up to where people can't get in at all. And I feel like I've kind of closed myself off into a place where it's hard for me to let people in. And even with friendships, like me and one of my girls were looking for, you know, someone else that we're able to hang with because we love each other. But we want it's nothing wrong with wanting <laughs> new friends like we want friends like you know what i'm saying and we're like one of the same where it's just hard for us to connect with people um but i've really been praying for people that get me and that kind of relate to me that maybe have similar passions with me because me and my friends can relate in different ways but i really don't have someone that's close by like in the vicinity of where i live that is interested in the things that I'm interested in. And I mean pursuing wise, like pursuing those things. Um, and I, I just wanna take things to 
a different level and I can't do everything on my own and I'm realizing that. And even like myself to a different level, it's not about anything content wise or anything pursuing my, you know, passion wise. It's like more so like I just want to continue to level up and like I can't, I'm not going to have all the answers. Like I'm not Miss Know It All. I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it just, I can't do everything. So it's like, yeah, I'm breaking down the walls to like be real and be honest. And I just want to encourage you guys that you don't have to be alone and to open yourself up to people, open yourself up to new ideas, open yourself up to help. It's okay to admit that we as people need help sometimes. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with us because we need help. It doesn't mean that, you know, we're weak because we need help. But, you know, I'm tired of being the strong person, too. Like, I want to be, I don't want to be weak, but, like, your girl be wanting to be real and be like, I cry because I do. <laughs> like, I make mistakes because I do. Like, I just want to be, like, in a safe space where I could be like, dang, thank you for being strong for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I'm so over the strong, independent, you know what I'm saying? Like, and don't come on here commenting, um, talking about, well, women want to be independent. Talk about women, don't talk about me. Don't generalize me in anything that y'all be having going on. Like, this girl right here, don't mind being independent don't mind getting into the bag but your girl be wanting to depend on people sometimes like that that's a dope thing to say that you can depend on people you know what i'm saying like that's dope that is something to brag about i could depend on x y and z to do x y and z i could depend on this person for this i could depend on this person for that like that is something dope to say because people are not dependable. And that's, I think that's the thing that I, that has closed me off for so long. But there are people that are. And so I shouldn't be afraid of letting people in. And, you know, it was one time I was talking to, I was like saying how um, God is so easy to trust, but people aren't. And that gets me emotional sometimes because I know that that is a wound it's a trigger, the fact that people aren't trustworthy, the fact that people that, they're not dependable. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is a trigger for me, and that hinders me. And I want to, like, come forth to just kind of break off the hindrance of solitude, like, <laughs> of what solitude is. You feel me? Like, I, I want to break that away. Like, I just pray that anyone that feels like they're alone just knows that God has people for you. God doesn't want you to be alone. God didn't make you to be alone. I know there's some people that's questioning that whether God has a spouse for them, whether God has friendships for them, whether God has help coming their way, they feel like they're stuck in their ways and they can't do what they want to do because they don't have the community, the platform, etc. But God's got your back. But we got to do the work too. And sometimes doing the work is having faith, but also being honest enough with ourselves to break down walls and barriers and things that are hindering us. And I just pray in Jesus' mighty name that things break off of us today. Today, under the sound of my voice, Jesus, I just pray that these things stop hindering us from the more that you have for us, Lord. I pray that this ushers us into open doors that we can find community that we can find dependency that we can find help that we can find people lord i pray that you give us discernment when we are finding those people so that we don't open the wrong doors lord i pray that you stop the plan that the enemy has on our life that's trying to make us feel like we have to have it all together like we have to do it all by ourselves lord because that is not what your will is even in the Bible, when there have been people that you have read about in the Bible, and if you haven't read about, heard about in the Bible, they may have been alone and may not have had a spouse because God does call some people to be single. And you'll know that by your desire in your heart. But 
for those people, they had somebody running alongside them. There is not one per Jesus didn't even do it alone. He had 12 disciples. We're not meant to do life alone. And I just pray that you break away from the ideas and the thoughts that make you feel like you have to do it alone. That's the point of this video. I know I was rambling at first, um, but y'all, I'm just coming to this realization. I want to break off people from that idea that it has to be done in this way because it doesn't have to be and it shouldn't be Adam had a helper Abraham had Sarah you feel me like there were people around there was always someone around when God has a purpose for you whether it is in marriage whether it is in parenthood whether it is in leading in any aspect you can lead him anyways um he has help for you and i just i'm doing this for myself but i'm doing it to encourage other people that we need people and i just i'm going to continue to pray that god sends me people i pray that god sends me you know more friendships i pray that he sends me people that i can partner with i pray that you know he continues to send me the people that are meant for me the people that are called to my life the people that i can help but they can also help me the people that i am into partnership with and for you too i pray that god does it for you too not just me because i don't want to do this alone like it's not like i could run this youtube channel and it just be about me but it's cool to bring people around you feel me it's cool to have other people in the picture and i want to help them help you know like if i had a photographer in the picture that could help them but that could help me you feel me if i had i don't want an editor right now but if i had an editor that could help them and that could help me you feel me like if i had someone that had another creative perspective that could help them but that could help me like say they did content too like i just know that it's coming. It's coming. I'm not going to be alone after this video. I, I'm praying that <laughs> in Jesus' name. Um, it may take some time, like, but I'm I'm not doing this life alone anymore. I'm breaking down the walls today. I'm breaking down the walls today in Jesus' mighty name. Them, it got to go. The walls got to go. And I'm open to letting people in. And yeah. You should be too. Let's get it. That's the end of this video. I didn't even eat my Danish because y'all, I can't eat and talk. <sighs> That's the end of this video though. I want to talk about it. I want to let it go. Surrender it to God. And I trust he's going to pull through for me and you. I love y'all. I hate to end off the video eating. But I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you.